Well, hey there, YouTube. It's real windy out here, so there's probably going to be a lot of a lot of wind noise. But we're out here for our first uh, CB meet up here in Dayton, Nevada. This here's 191 Super K Mobile, aka the Base Station Killer. Um, you've got you've got mine right next to it here. Here's here's my F-150. And then uh, we got another feller over here. And uh, we got a couple more vehicles over here. I don't want to leave out all the other vehicles, but th this here is a badass Jeep for you Jeep guys. Uh, this thing here is sick. There's his antenna. Here we got a cool old Ford. Check this thing out. Here's a here's another feller here. This here is a 38 special. Here we got a we got a little Subaru. Got our antenna on that. Here's a here's Mr. 815. The Big Channel Six Skip Shooter here. Big one five on the border. Check out what he's doing today. He's running his Mr. Coily. Look at that. You all know he's a big strapper when he's running that thing. Ain't that awesome? Once again, here, here's Eddie the Mall Dropper. Hey there, Eddie. This here is a, a Pizza Boys Jeep. He just got everything done in here. He built himself a rack here from the top. Put a puck mount on the top. And he's got a 102 inch whip on there. I'll have him come over in a second and, and he'll show you what he's running in there. This here's another big strapper. This here's a, a 403. 403 in Northern Nevada. He's a he's a skip shooter. He's got some he's got some juice on his base. But here's his mobile here. He's running some power out of this too. All right, we got Pizza Boy here, and he's gonna go ahead and tell you what he's got going in here. So right here we got. Uh, if we can get in here, this is a, this is an old TX800 with uh, it's a one by four with um, four, four it's five two SC 2879s made by Toshiba. They're originals. They're all beta match. Um, they're all, all working. This thing swings anywhere from 800 to 1,000 watts. If we come under here, this is what's feeding it all. Um, this is a Blue Sea system, 12-volt 12 12, uh, 12 fuse, uh, fuse block. And there's there's double grommet back here that's feeding into my battery that's under the hood. Um, I have uh, the Stinger power wire, multi-stranded. It's great. It, I, I like to use it. It tins up super easy. Um, and for the power wires, I, power wires for the amp, I have some heavier duty stuff. Um, if we get under here and we look at the connectors for my coax, this is RG400 coax um, with the uh, Amphenol PL259 connectors with the UG175 reducers. These things will last you a lifetime. They got Teflon insulators in there. Um, this, this is off a 100 watt fuse that's, that's made by Stinger. It's an inline fuse that I have running direct to it. Um, you guys know, give me one sec, when these things come up for sale on the CB groups, uh, people go crazy about these things. These are really sought after uh, old school amps right here. Yeah, it's a $1,200 amp any day of the week. And up top, I'm driving, driving that amplifier with an old school um, RCI 2950. It's also the only 2950 out there that has a green face. What he means is the old school version of it. Yeah, the old school version of it. And if we come up top here, we've got a 102 inch stainless steel whip that was hand turned by a guy in California. It's attached to a workman stainless steel barrel spring. And on that, it's attached to a Breed Love 45 kilowatt rated puck mount and uh, I couldn't be happier with this thing it it, it does one-to-one -one. I, I can talk a straight line probably 45 miles yeah it's a beautiful rig 
All right, well, this is the Pizza Boy Mobile here. Thanks for showing it to us. No problem. All right, everyone likes to see the videos of 191 uh, Super K Mobile, a.k.a. the Base Station Killer. So he said we can go on in his truck, and we'll go ahead and show you what he's got running here. <laughs> Check out this guy. He leaves his keys in his vehicle. Oh my, <laughs> and his phone. I bet you his wallet's in here too. We should dig around. Okay. <laughs> here, let's pull these out so it quits dinging. All right, so here's what he's got in here. This is the famous Galaxy DX959B that used to belong to the drunken Hellraiser out of uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> this is the famous radio that the Hellraiser dropped his window air conditioning on his window air conditioner unit on and it's just loud as shit after that happened who knows <laughs> but anyway there's his radio he's running there uh he's running the same meter as i am the workman there's his uh thumper 800 ld this is a two by eight uh mosfet box it has 10 erf 9530s in it so two driving eight um, he sees pretty pretty good wattage out of this. There's his little uh, temperature. Let's see if that even shows up down there. Kind of hard to see. But, yeah, there's his little temperature meter there so he can see what the amp's running. This thing never heats up, though. Um, just for the hell of it, he uh, put the bottom of a Texas Star 500 fan kit on there just to cool the bottom. And there's his wires coming in. Right there, you can see this amp has some has some decent gauge wire coming out of it. That looks like uh, that looks like uh, eight gauge right there. That's what I'm gonna guess. Maybe six. Looks like eight or six gauge running up to his battery there. But yeah, there's there's uh, the one nine one setup, and uh, uh, I don't think there's another mobile that that can touch this thing right now out here. It's insane how how loud this is. Oh here, and he's running the. Superstar DM1000 Tornado. It's as close as you can get to a copy of the uh, Extreme 2018. It's, it's, it's a good mic. And he put the lip guard on it and he actually runs this thing when he talks in it just like a, a noise console mic. Crazy. Uh, here's his antenna here. I think he's got the, uh, yeah, he's got some type of predator on there. I'm not sure the exact model number. Might be a 10K, I'm not sure. But it's a good antenna, looks great. It's got an old heading crack there. And he always comes prepared. He's got a one of his uh, uh, K K40 Max antennas there. Yeah, he's he's always got some extra antennas. Here's a seven foot uh, skip skip shooter right there. And yeah, he's got his 102 inch whip in there as well. All right, so here here's mine. You all have seen mine, but uh. I've just got the, uh, the, um, what is that? Can't think right now. The Striker SR, SR A10, I think it is. Uh, these are mag mount antennas, but, uh, I don't have a mag mounted. I'm using the, uh, Wilson, uh, uh Wilson 5000 through roof mount. And since this antenna is basically a Wilson 5000, let's just be honest, it is what it is. Um, screws right on there and uh, really good SWR okay you've all seen mine but if you haven't here you go here's my little setup here here's the console I built for it and uh, that switch turns everything on right there this switch here turns the amp on run on the same meter as one one nine or one there got up Got a volt gauge right there. So what my voltage is. I'm running the static D104 here. Um, sounds best with this particular striker. Not all strikers, but this particular one. It sounds the best with that one. Okay, here's the amplifier I'm currently running. Same as 191, bumper 800 LD. I've got my little temperature gauge mounted right there. These things never get hot, but I, I like to monitor it anyway. All right, here's the other side of it here. Uh, 
And uh, the good thing about these 2x8 uh, MOSFET boxes here, um, these, you know, at these charging systems on these F F-150s, you know, 850 uh, cold cranking amp battery and stock alternator have no trouble at all running these. These are super efficient. Probably kind of hard to see under there, but there we go. So that's, that's my setup. Okay, we'll go over here at 815s. Uh, he's got his hood open, but we're not going to show you anything under there. Because uh, he does run this in competitions. Like I say, he is a big strapper. He will enter this in a CB key down competition. Alrighty, so here's the 815 mobile. Uh, I showed you this in the last video. Uh, there's a striker. This one here has been done up by Mod Squad in Hawaii. And 815, he just doesn't have enough good things to say about Mod Squad, man. Uh, he says, you know, if you want your radio done right, th this is the dude. He's definitely a believer. Um, there's his uh, bird meters right there. I believe one is for, uh, I believe, uh, RMS with a PEP bird kit. And the other one is his Reflect. And there's his uh, uh, regulator right there where he can control his voltage. So he can turn his voltage up or down for his amplifier there. And uh, he's he's got his two by eight currently behind the back seat here. Yeah, I showed you showed you his amplifier in the other video, but if you haven't seen it, there we go. And he's got the line section for the bird meters there. Eight one five's got a got a badass little setup here. He's he's definitely a skip talker, that's for sure. And then here's his you know his batteries he's got back here in his bed and whatnot to power everything. And the best part about the whole thing, look at this beautiful antenna. Look at that one-off, as far as he knows anyways, it's a one-off, uh, all copper. Uh, Mr. Coily right there. All right. Cups included. <laughs> all right, 403 says this is his daily driver with coffee cups all over it. But <laughs> 403 is obviously a repeat offender of seeing Mr. Uh, Donkey Stomper here. He owns quite a few of these Chad Jolly boxes. So is this a 8-pill 2x8? What is this? Okay, so he's running a 2x8, basically the same thing Mr. 815 is running over there. And uh, we'll go. We'll go ahead and check out his radio here. Standby. All right. So here we go. He's got an old Galaxy 959 that he told me he got out of a. I think he got it out of a, a tow yard or a repo or something. I, I forget. But uh, it works for him. Definitely, the mobile definitely talks. Uh, he said, that, "I think this has been his most reliable radio." He said. But yep. So there's Mr. 403's mobile setup there. Okay, he's got his hood open. I, I didn't know if he had a stock alternator or not on here. But apparently he's he's got a little something better there. He's got he looks like he's got a 200 amp there. So that's providing him some extra juice. Bolts right in where the factory one was. Okay, let's see here. He doesn't know I'm filming all this. Okay, looks like he's some power wire there. All right, so there's Mr. 403 there. Here's his antenna. He's running the same antenna I am. He just has a magnet mount version. And obviously, you know, these things work because they're, they're handling his power. All right, so here's this, uh, and you're, you're Big Iron, right? Okay, this is Big Iron, that's his handle. And uh, I actually really dig this old Ford van. Look at this thing. Look at the patina on it. <laughs> Dude, seriously, I'm not joking. I really dig this truck. This truck's badass. Let's see what we got in here real quick. Okay, uh, here, we'll just go right here. That's right, he's got the old Montgomery Ward, man, to match this truck. <laughs> That's actually a really cool looking radio. Check that out. Yep. Man, you know what? 
The inside of this truck is actually pretty clean, man. I'm actually pretty impressed. <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Big Iron, you, you got yourself a nice Ford here, man, for sure. I really like this. Alright, so here, here's this cool Jeep, man. This thing's really sharp. Check this thing out. Forget about the CVs, just, you know, if you're a Jeep guy, this thing is like way dope. <laughs> this thing is really awesome. I, I really dig it. Let's see, let's see what he's running in there. Whoa. He's got something in there. Let's open the door and see here. Now, I don't know if this is supposed to be here or not, but he's, he's, he's got a big box. Looks like a donkey stomper, Chad Jolly box there. The big son of a gun. There we go. Oh, a unit. Oh, he's got the Grant. That's a nice radio right there. Wouldn't mind having that. Yep, that's a good radio right there. This fella's got himself a good radio. <laughs> yep. Yep, got some big wire on it. Big old donkey stomper right there. But here's just a quick view of some of the folks we got here. Not a bad little turnout for where we live out here in the country out here in northern Nevada. Seems real cool, real friendly. We're just gonna sneak up on this guy. He doesn't oh, mind. Yeah. He doesn't mind being hey, on Richard. the camera. <laughs> we doing? What do you Walking have to say? In tennis. I let him. I let him borrow that K40. He said oh, he'd cool. give me cash for it. I said no, nah, it's not for sale. They're probably gonna be. Tell your fans something. Yeah. You got a lot of them. The Predator is the way to go right now, man. Wh which Predator is that exactly? K1 uh, K127. There you go. K127. You heard it from 191, the, the base station killer. The Stinger weighs more than the whole the whole coil and antenna. Cool. Superman. 